If you're looking at hiring a business coach, you're probably full of questions about the service and the process. I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about business coaching so that you can decide if it's right for you. In this video, we're going to look at the early stages of the coaching process, how to find the right coach for you, issues that might arise with coaching, and finally, the cost. What will the start of the business coaching journey look like? Well, the start of the business coaching journey typically involves these four steps. Firstly, the initial consultation. Second is the business assessment, reviewing your financials, your marketing strategies, operational processes to identify strengths and areas for improvement. Third, goal setting. You and your coach will work together to set specific measurable goals for your business. And last but not least, number four, the coaching sessions. You'll meet with your coach on a regular basis in order to review progress and receive ongoing coaching to achieve your goals. What are the different stages of the coaching process? Number one, establishing rapport and personal connection. Number two, systematically assessing your current situation of your business. Number three, identifying both business and personal goals. Number four, developing and implementing a business plan and finally monitoring progress and making appropriate adjustments as we go through the coaching. Is there anything I need to do to prepare for having a coach? Mentally, you can prepare by clarifying your goals, being open to feedback, committing to the coaching process, being honest and transparent and preparing to take action. Practically, here are some of the things that you can do which will definitely accelerate your journey. First of all, prepare your financials before starting business coaching. Collect all of the financial documents, including income statements, balance sheets, cash flow statements, tax returns, and any other financial reports. And also identify the key performance indicators, the KPIs that are most important for your business. Definitely be open and honest about your financial situation, even if it's not where you want to be. This will allow your coach to provide the best possible coaching what sort of things am I likely to be asked to work on in the early stages of coaching? That would depend on your individual needs and goals. Now, it could be focusing on increasing cash flow and finances. It could be increasing your time or available time. It could be getting your team performing better and stronger. Here are some of the common areas that a business coach might focus on in the early stages of coaching. Clarifying your business vision and mission, developing a business plan, identifying your target markets, improving your leadership and time management skills, getting results from your sales and marketing. Last but not least, building a winning team and culture. How to find the right coach for me? When you're searching for a coach, here's some areas that you can reflect on and consider. Number one, the coach's background and experience. Number two, coaching methodology. Third, time commitment. Fourth, cost. Number five, accountability. Do coaching strategies differ in different areas of business? Well, the answer is yes. Coaches that specialize in finance, sales, marketing, or operations, or other areas of business may have different approaches and different strategies tailored to the specific needs and challenges of each of those areas. For example, a coach that specializes in finance might help you develop strategies for financial management, such as budgeting, cash flow analysis, forecasting. On the other hand, a coach that specializes in sales or marketing or operations, they may help you improve and drive performance in those specific processes. There are also some business coaches that provide full, systematic, holistic business growth, and they're able to tailor their coaching for you in any or all of the areas that I've mentioned. When will I start seeing noticeable improvements and income? The timeline for seeing noticeable improvements and income from business coaching can vary depending on several factors. Now, here are some of the factors to consider. Call these the three C's, commitment, challenges, and coaching strategies. 
Commitment. Now, the level of commitment that you've got in the coaching process can also impact how quickly you see improvements and income. Challenges. If your business is facing significant challenges like financial difficulties or a decline in sales, it could take longer to see improvements. Coaching strategies. Some strategies might produce much quicker results, while other strategies may take longer to implement and see the results. How do you guarantee results? Well, the reality is this. Most business coaches cannot and will not guarantee results. The few that do, do this because of their strength in A, their coaching system and process, and B, their assessment of you and your business's potential. Now, irrespective of guarantee, do follow these three core principles. Number one, set very clear goals that motivate you. Number two, be accountable and take action on your chosen strategies. And last but not least, number three, keep asking for support and guidance. How will I know when I no longer need my coach? Here are the five key signs to indicate that you might be ready to stop your coaching. Number one, you've achieved your goals. Number two, you feel confident in your abilities. Number three, you've developed new skills and even outgrown your coach. Number four, you've got a clear plan for the future. Number five, you've reached a plateau. What are the most common struggles during the coaching process? Number one, resistance to change. Number two, difficulty in setting goals. Number three, lack of accountability. Number four, overwhelm. Number five, lack of progress. Number six, lack of motivation. Try and focus on the benefits of achieving your goals and remind yourself why you started the coaching process in the first place. What will happen if I need to change coaches? Well, if you've got to change coaches during the coaching process, it's really important to communicate openly and honestly with both your current coach and the new coach. Now, your current coach actually may be able to recommend a new coach that's a better fit for you and your needs, or might be able to provide feedback to the new coach to help them understand your goals and progress. Is there compensation if I'm not happy with the results? The answer to this question depends on the specific coaching agreement that you have with your coach. Now, most coaches will have a coaching agreement that outlines the terms of their services, including what happens if you're not happy with the results. It's important to choose a coach who has a strong track record of success and positive feedback from past clients, as well as checking which coaches have strong guarantees in place. What do business coaches not provide to business owners? Number one, legal advice. Business coaches are not typically licensed attorneys. They might be able to provide guidance on general legal issues, but specific legal questions should be directed to a licensed attorney. Number two, financial services. While business coaches may provide guidance on financial management and your finances will likely improve, they are not typically licensed financial advisors or accountants. Number three, hands-on technical services. For example, they may provide guidance on website design or on marketing strategies, but they will typically not design the website or run the marketing campaign for you. How much does it cost? Now, the cost of coaching with Action Coach Business Coaching can vary depending on factors such as the type of coaching that you choose. For example, group coaching or one-to-one -one coaching, and also the frequency of coaching. For example, weekly coaching or fortnightly coaching. Now, this, of course, is also directly linked to your desired speed of growth. Coaching programs for you can start at as little as £100 per month and move to £1,500 per month and beyond for bespoke one-to-one -one coaching that comes with a guarantee on results and a guarantee on return on investment. Other business coaching companies may differ on prices and it's important that you do your research and find a program that best fits you for what you want and need. Thank you for listening. That should have answered all of your questions now you've heard enough and you think you're ready to start the coaching process then click in the video description below and claim your free coaching session if not click here and explore more about how coaching can make the difference in your business and your life i hope you found this video helpful and remember this being in business should give you my life
Let's make it happen.